Big camera, small bag, can they mix? Let's talk more about it. If you have a big camera, you're probably wondering, why do I need a small bag? After all, I have a big backpack that I can lug it around. Well, to be honest, some places don't allow backpack for security reasons, so you must have a small bag. And if you wish to bring your DSLR or your mirrorless camera around that's gripped, you have limited options because a lot of the small bags can only fit cameras that don't have a battery grip. Now, before I continue, I want to mention that this video is not sponsored. I've done my research in terms of comparing bags, prices, features, ratings, stuff like that. And I came across this one that looks pretty good. So I decided to give it a try. When I bought this Eve case bag, it was $40. And that was a pretty good price point because other comparable bags around this size are coming in around $100, maybe even $150. On the front, back, left, and right side of the bag, you have external storage compartments, and that's pretty nice because if you have any spare batteries, papers, or anything you don't want to store in the main compartment, you can use these pockets. If you watched my previous video about using a fishing bag to store your camera, that bag is too small for a battery grip, but it does have a front compartment that allows you to store a flash. This one, however, doesn't allow you to do that because the compartments in the front and back do not expand. Turning the camera bag over, there is a rubberized piece of material at the bottom to help protect the bag. And opening the bag, let's check out the inside. You'll first notice the dividers that are customizable and it comes with a couple of things. You have a padded strap as well as what looks like to be a weatherproofing bag, which I probably won't use. Small things such as memory cards could be stored up top. These are locked in with Velcro. In addition to the adjustable dividers, you also have room for a small tablet. The side pockets open up with a zipper and inside there's a small netting you can use to organize its contents. And the back pocket is pretty flat, but I don't know if you can store a whole lot here. And let's get to the, probably the most important part of this video. Can this small bag fit the stuff that I have? So as you can see, I have my Sony mirrorless camera and attached to that, I have the Sigma 85 mm 1.4, which is a pretty big lens. I also have the Sony 24 to 105 F4 lens, which is a mid-sized lens. Um, so I'm gonna use these two as an example. I have the dividers set up so that there's one divider, um, which is big enough for a camera plus lens and then some accessory, whether it's another lens or something like a flash. One thing I have trouble with is having a camera with a lens mounted, a spare lens plus a flash fit into the bag. I found that if I try to force the flash in, it might not be in a part where it's padded so it can potentially get damaged if I accidentally drop the bag. So in this case, I'll probably just compromise and either put in a lens or a flash. And if you're trying to be creative and fit in the flash where the tablet compartment is, that won't work either because the tablet compartment isn't big enough. Let's move on to the strap. The strap will strap onto the bag just like any other bag. And in terms of comfort, I'd say it's good, but not excellent. It's definitely not bad, um, but the padding is okay. Overall, I really like this bag. I think the only downside for me is that I can't fit the flash in the front compartment, which is unfortunate, but for $40, I can't really complain, especially since other bags are much more expensive than that. And if I want a bigger bag, I can always grab my backpack. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always, and I'll see you next time.